Hey, boys and girls, this is, book is called Can You See in the Dark? And it is by Carolyn Janes, and it is from Amplify Science. Can you see in the dark? Can you see in the dark? Do you need light to see? To find the answer, you need evidence. And the only way to get the evidence you need is to find a place that is completely dark with no light at all. Think of some dark places. Can you see in those places? You can find your way to the bathroom after bedtime without turning on a light. You can see empty seats in a dark movie theater. But are those places completely dark? Is there any light at all? To find out whether you need light to see, you have to find a place with no light. No, not a zero, zilch. Think of a movie theater. You walk in after the movie starts, and it's hard to see, but you can still find a seat. You can see a little bit. Is there any light in the theater? What do you observe? You may see little light bulbs on the floor next to the seats behind you, and... You can see light coming from the movie projector. Light does not just float around. It has come from somewhere. A place where light comes from is called a light source. The light bulbs on the floor are a light source. The movie projector is also a light source. Even though the movie theater seems dark, there is some light. The theater is not completely dark. You don't have the evidence you need yet. To find out where you need where ah, to find out whether you need light to see, you have to find some place darker to observe. You walk out of the theater and it's a rainy night. Is it completely dark? Can you find any light? On the walk home, you notice light from many sources: street lights, car headlights, and the glowing signs at the gas station. You can see. But that's not evidence that you can see in the dark. It's nighttime, but it's not completely dark. Think about a darker place. You can go camping in the middle of the woods where there's no streetlights or headlights. Is it completely dark? Can you find any light? Yes, the campfire is a source of light, and your flashlight is a source of light too. When the fire goes out and you turn off your flashlight, it gets much darker. Is it completely dark? Can you find any light? Look up in the sky. What do you observe? Up there are thousands of light sources. The stars, even in the middle of the forest at night, it is not completely dark. You cannot get the evidence you need to answer your questions here. Back at home, your bedroom may seem completely dark when you turn off the lights. Can you see? Maybe you see a glass of water on the table next to your bed. And maybe you can count the stripes on your bedspread. Is it completely dark? Can you find any light? You see some light from a street light and from the neighbor's house coming through your window. Your room is not completely dark, after all. Being able to see in your bedroom at night is not really evidence that you can see in the dark. Can you imagine a place that is completely dark with no light from any source? You crawl under your bed. You remember how dark it was under there when you played hide and seek. Is it completely dark? Can you find any light? In a few seconds, you start to see things. You can see a sock that's been missing for a month. Does this mean you can see in the dark? You look around. Light from the neighbor's house and the street light outside from your window is also getting under your bed. You have to find some place darker. You scramble into your closet and shut the door. <coughs> you think, I found a place that's completely dark. Nope. Light is getting in there from any source. You can just barely see your hand if you hold it in front of your face. Is it completely dark? Can you find any light? You notice a crack under the door where the light from outside is getting in. You still don't have the evidence you need. You still cannot prove whether or not you need 
light to see. A few days later, you go on a field trip to a cave. The tour guide leads you into the cave. It is dark in there, in here, really dark. Deep in the cave, there's no light from the sun. This may be the perfect place to test whether you can see in the dark. The tour guide is talking about how caves are formed, but you are wondering how dark the cave could get. You finally get a chance to ask. The tour guide says, I'll show you. I'm going to turn off the lights for a minute. She turns off the lights and everything is black. You look around for sources of light, but you do not see any. In fact, you cannot see anything at all. Just to be sure, you wait and wait, but you never see anything. A smile crosses your face. None of your classmates can see the smile, even though they are standing right in front of you. Still, you know the smile is there because you can feel it. You finally have the evidence you need. You have found a place that is completely dark. There is no light from any source. It is completely dark and you cannot see in the dark. If you can see anything, it's because of light. You need light to see. This is an important feature of a nonfiction text and it's called glossary. Um, evidence, observe, projector, source, and test. These are important words and it gives you their definitions. This book is called Can You See in the Dark from Amplify Science.